it's going to slip. According to that, it's going to start slipping at 64 degrees. And now, in this case, it's probably going to slip before 64, right? Because the mu s between the bowl and the table is even less than 0.6. So it's probably, probably going to slip like this. You see, it's not rolling. It's just sort of, it kind of tries to roll, but not that good. You see, it's sort of sliding. It kind of rolls a little bit down here, but uh, so you see, it starts to slip. Um, now, for the, if I have it less slanted, it should roll. See, that's rolling right there. You see? So the reason when you get the angle too big, what ends up happening is that the normal force is uh, less. When the normal force is less, that reduces the maximum value that Fs can be. Fs, is, Fs max is mu Sn, you see? So that's the reason why you can't have the angle too high. I could also try a, a cylinder. For the cylinder, the answer is uh, different, right? You see, it's definitely slipping there. Yeah. As a matter of fact, for the cylinder, I could do an interesting little experiment. I can say, find, first find out the mu s between the cylinder and the table. Then using that mu s, see if, uh, if, the, if this is right. Now, what's the other way of finding the mu s, the regular way? Let's say I want to know the mu s between the cylinder and the table. The regular way of finding the mu s is to put it so that it doesn't roll and to raise it up and see at what angle it starts to slip. OK, it's kind of rolling this way. Um, let's do it this way. Uh, yeah, let's, let's put something like this. So this, this prevents it from rolling. And then go down like this. Yeah. OK, so it begins to roll at that angle, right? Roughly, what was that angle? Probably 20 or something like that. So what was the, so you got a cylinder. So for the cylinder, we put it so that it doesn't, uh, we put it in this direction. And it began to slip, let's say, about 20. So what is the mu s between it and the table? <clears throat> that one is not rolling motion, right? That one you just have uh, uh, mu s n, n, and then mg. And then the minute it slips, mu s n equals mg sine theta. And then n equals mg cos theta. mu s is tangent theta. So the regular way of finding the mu s between any two surfaces is to simply just raise it, find the angle at which it slips, and then take the tangent of that. So mu s equals tangent of theta. Then to find out the angle at which it begins to have, uh, have non-pure rolling motion, okay, slipping motion, then you go through the same kind of argument here for the cylinder. What would change for the cylinder? Let's go over here, let's go over here. For the cylinder, it would be 1 half mr squared, right? 1 half mr squared. This one would be 1 half ma. Uh, this one would be 1 half ma for the cylinder. This would be... Uh, 3 halves A, and then A would be 2 thirds. Okay, so I'm just doing it quickly. All the steps that we went through for the cylinder. Then I put it here, Fs equals Fs max. So Fs would be uh, half Ma. And then A will be 
two thirds G sine theta. And then the two and the two cancel. Then you're left with uh, one third sine theta equals mu s cosine theta. And then tangent theta is three mu s. Okay? So notice the difference between the two. Mu s is tan theta if you put it, if you put the cylinder in such a direction that it just slips. It slips at an angle given by tangent theta is mu s. But if you put the cylinder in the direction that it's rolling, the angle at which it begins to slip is tangent theta equals 3 mu s. So it's much bigger angle, right? 20 degrees, it takes 20 degrees for it to, uh, uh, so, so let's do this now. Let's say roughly mu s is tangent of 20. Then take that, put it into here. So I get tangent of theta is 3 tangent of 20. And then roughly we'll estimate what angle it's going to slip down, okay? It's probably going to be something like 60 again, 3 tangent of 20, and then inverse tangent. Oh, this one is 47. Oh, yeah, it's not 60 because the mu s is less, 47.5 or some, something like that. So it's going to slip around 47. It slided, it slid at 20, but it begins slipping at 47. You see the difference? So that one, for that one, I put it in the direction that it's going to roll. And then I kind of tilt this here. Okay, now that's pure rolling, that's good. Pure rolling, raise it up. Still okay, still okay. And then, still okay. Now it starts to slip a little bit here, see? See? See, it's falling like that. So, so that's, that's roughly about 47, right? That's exact. That's forty-seven point three right there. No, I'm just joking. Of course, I can't tell, but so that's that's roughly the idea there. 